Where is Hollow Knight Silk Song has become the million dollar question that we are all asking anytime there is an indie showcase, no matter the size, everybody is looking for Silk Song to be there. There were even indie showcases in the past where they used Silk Song artwork to promote the event. Don't know why you would do that. And then zero showing, no release date whatsoever. Well, it's actually sort of wound up in the promises made at the Xbox Bethesda showcase where they said everything so- shown in this showcase will be arriving in the next 12 months. And now players are starting to lose hope. I actually have an article specifically about this from the gamer where people are starting to say, I don't think we're going to get this because many people are looking at that calendar and seeing so much of it getting shuffled down the road. There were 25 games slated for the first half of 2023 during that showcase on that artwork piece. It was like a big thing they showed with all the various games and nine of the 25 have been bumped down the calendar. We just got confirmation that Forza Motorsport won't be making it. Starfield's not making it. Redfall is making it, but without the 60 FPS feature. So a lot of these games seemingly just not ready, not able to make their release dates. Now we don't know if this is sort of the remnant of 2020 and working from home with development challenges and just not being able to make good on schedules. Was there miscommunication? Did Microsoft really think a lot of these games were going to be ready? Arc 2 has been bummed. Stalker 2 is probably not going to make it for their own specific reasons. But why would you include them on that calendar if their release date and timelines are in doubt? Of all of the games to include on that promise, I'm kind of surprised that Stalker 2 was there. Now, Silk Song was not on that banner. They were not on that image at least I'm, I'm fairly certain they're not there. I've looked many times and we went through and like x out all the titles that had gotten delayed, but it was showcased, which that's a worrying thing if you're going to show something and say, hey, this thing's coming in the next 12 months and then it doesn't make it. For fans of the title, we've all been waiting. You know, the first Hollow Knight was just a huge, huge hit. We know that the pressure is mounting to deliver a really good title. The sequel to Ori and the Blind Forest, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, actually borrowed a lot of ideas from the original Hollow Knight, so they're probably really wanting to sort of up the ante. So let's take a look at this article and see what they have to say. Hollow Knight players abandon hope of promised Silk Song release date this June. Xbox said it would be here before June 2nd, but fans aren't buying it anymore. This is just a cautionary tale to Microsoft this year. Don't make a bunch of promises about a schedule if you're not going to be able to keep it, because just one more title is getting sort of sucked into that cyclone of broken promises at this point, and it's just not looking like we're going to get a Silk Song date, because we're about to be into May when I'm recording this end of April it doesn't leave a whole lot of time to suddenly say oh here's a trailer here's gameplay the game is coming so let's take a look here what they say we know for sure that Hollow Knight Silk Song is coming it's been confirmed for Xbox PlayStation and even the Nintendo Switch we know that testers are plugging away squashing bugs and tuning gameplay and we know it'll hit Game Pass on day one when it eventually arrives at last year's Summer Game Fest presentation Xbox showed off a new gameplay trailer and then promised that every game shown including Silk Song would be playable within the next 12 months that was a big deal I think for people to be like oh wow everything we saw is coming in the next 12 months because that's commonly a criticism and a complaint during these showcases is what's what's the release date where's the gameplay those are like the two most common questions that people end up asking is where's the gameplay and where's that release date i actually get really annoyed when i see a trailer for a game that looks awesome and then there's not even a year they don't even tell you their their projected year when the game is going to come out it's like why'd you even get me excited about this don't do that don't mess with me right so far that promise has been kept to what wait what promise has been kept so far that promise has been kept that all of the things shown would be playable in the next tw- that's not true i don't know why they would say that wolong is already out and redfall has a may release date the only exception is silk song um what about starfield did you forget about starfield of all titles to forget starfield is not landing within the promise. Like, the, the only exception is so Song, yeah, and Starfield, and Forza Motorsport, and Stalker 2, and Arc 2, and I can't even name all the others. I think it's up to, like, 10 titles now that are not making it in the first half of this year that were promised in that showcase. Whoever wrote this 
did not research this very well. If you go to that image right now, you'll 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 be shocked at how many you cross off that didn't make the cut. And uh, so Silk Song is not the only exception. It's just one more game to add to the pile at this point. Which again, I, I fault Microsoft for that. They put the showcase together. They walked out and said that, and it sounds like they had a lot of bad communication with the developers because so many so many devs are not making uh, the cut. A poll from Reset Era user uh, Fantalis asks users, do you think it's still coming before June 12th of 2023? The response was 10% of users still clinging to hope, but 90% said that they don't expect to see Silk Song by the promised date. So consumer confidence is waning at this point, I think. It's understandable. Game delays are so common. Every time I see a game like Twitter account tweet out that that image with all of the text, I just assume it's a delay announcement at this point. I just see that and I'm like, yep, here comes another delay announcement. Like, if you run the social media account for a game company or a game right now, you probably dread the moment that you have to hit that and and shove that out there because it's going to be nothing but anger and disappointment. Now, most people that have, have grown accustomed to delays will take a pretty measured approach and say, hey, take all the time that you need. But at this point, it's becoming a bit of a meme and a bit of a joke and a bit of a punchline that every time we see those tweeted images, we know a delay is coming. So many game companies should take note. Just stop putting out release dates if you're not ready. Immortals of Avium, that game kind of came out of nowhere, surprised everybody, and its release date's like right around the corner. I think more companies should head that direction because if not, you end up like Silk Song, and everybody's getting a little annoyed and their confidence is waning. We've had both Xbox official Twitter account and playtester on Discord confirm that Silk Song should release in the next 12 months from the trailer that came out on June 12th, 2022. But that's less than two months away, and we still haven't heard anything from Team Cherry themselves. I'm starting to have serious doubts. It wouldn't be the end of the world if Silk Song got pushed to fall or December, or. Uh, sorry, sorry, as we have a lot of games coming out in the following months, but still, I wouldn't mind playing it over the summer. I mean, at this point, it's not even about if it gets delayed out of June, is that a big deal? But just talk to us. This silent treatment thing that's happening, so many of the games that I went and checked from that Xbox showcase, from that big image that they had, they had 25 games on the one side for the first half of 2023. So many of those games have said nothing. They've not updated with their release date. They don't have any projections. They don't have any commentary. Nothing. You go to their Steam page. You go to their Twitter accounts. Nothing. They're not saying anything. And listen, just say something. Just say, hey, we're aware that people were really looking forward to this game within this window of time. We're just not going to make it. We will update you once we have a release date. But the silence is becoming a deafening annoyance, I think, in the gaming community. All these great games coming soon might be why we haven't heard anything about Silk Song. In just a few weeks, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom arrives, and then June will bring Diablo 4, Street Fighter 6, and Final Fantasy 16. With all these juggernauts on the horizon, Team Cherry might have quietly reconsidered its release plans. And that is totally fine. I like I can resonate with that. I can kind of even maybe even empathize and sympathize to be like, listen, there's some big, big games coming. You guys might not have wanted to get pushed all the way with your back against the wall into June. June is just jam-packed. Because I remember people thinking that Starfield was going to land in June. I said, listen, that's a bad idea, okay? Starfield needs to have sort of its own month, its own time, which there's concerns about it maybe landing in the same month as Spider-Man. But I don't necessarily think Spider-Man, a PS5 exclusive is going to stand as a big contender to pull people away from Starfield. Starfield's going to be an Xbox title, a Game Pass title, a PC title. I, You know, PS5 obviously has pull, and their market saturation and sales rates look great. So Spider-Man does stand to kind of dominate some of the marketing, but at least you're not going up against other RPGs like Diablo 4 and Final Fantasy 16. Not that these games are similar, but they certainly draw and are attracted to, you know, and attractive to, I think, very similar types of players so silk song could be saying listen we were hoping to have this thing out first quarter we were hoping to kind of have this out during a bit of a gaming drought and it would have crushed if you look at how hi-fi rush performed you got you know two million users playing hi-fi rush that's pretty good for a game of that size and that price point you could have had a similar result with silk song because i think the anticipation for silk song is very high 
And if you land at a time where there's nothing else to play, you get to kind of be the shining star in the dark night. Like nobody's, nobody else is doing anything, right? You don't, you don't have to worry about going up against any other games. On the other hand, more than a few users, likely from the hopeful 10%, suggested that Microsoft could shadow drop Silk Song just like they did Hi-Fi Rush. I don't know if they would do that because it's isn't really, not really the goal. I don't think of the Silk Song devs. They've got a pretty big following. While Hi-Fi Rush made a big splash when its surprise dropped back in January, there's been some confusion about whether that was a winning strategy. Jeff Grubb said that Hi-Fi Rush didn't make the money it needed to make, while Microsoft Marketing VP Aaron Greenberg said the game was a breakout hit for us and our players in all key measurements and expectations. We actually covered that at length if you want to check the full broadcast. I've got about a 20-minute monologue about that. I think so many people misunderstood when Jeff Grubb even kind of re-qualified and reframed what he was saying. He still stands by the fact that there were people at Microsoft that said this, you know, Hi-Fi Rush didn't hit the revenue it was supposed to, and there are people high up that are upset, and you know, Greenberg says, oh no, Hi-Fi Rush did fine, it wasn't a flop. That's really not the discussion that we should be having. The discussion we should be having is, did Phil Spencer make assurances in 2018 about games landing on Game Pass increasing sales? He pointed to Forza Horizon 4 and State of Decay, and is that not happening now? Has the consumer adapted and sort of changed? And if they want to do a similar thing with Silk Song, just like suddenly drop it and, you know, just surprise everybody with a shadow drop, the question would be, is that going to be what's best suited for a game that everybody's been waiting for? A very simple marketing ramp up, I think, would be very good for Silk Song. I don't think you would want to shadow drop, but I think it worked well for Hi Fi Rush because nobody was anticipating the game. Nobody was waiting for that game. Right now, a trailer with gameplay and a release date would blow up. I mean, it would go very, very viral. People would be very very excited. Maybe Silk Song will be the same and fans will be willing to wait on Final Fantasy 16 to return to the world of Hollow Knight. I doubt that. We'll find out one way or another in the next few weeks. All eyes are on June now. Sony's been very quiet. Everybody's looking to their showcase to be pretty big because they did a state of play for the PSVR 2. That didn't go over very well with most of the audience because not a lot of people bought a VS- PSVR 2 within the PS5 ownership. And then Sony does a show, a state of play and it was all Final Fantasy 16. So it's like, okay, that's great. Everybody's looking forward to that game, but that's not a first party title. It kind of is in spirit. But where's the rest of the announcements, right? Similar things with Silk Song and all the other titles from Xbox. It's like, all right, well, I guess we all going to look at June now. May might be a bit of a dry spell for for many of us. Uh, Looking forward to all those announcements. And just clarification on when are games coming? What's going on? Do you have any gameplay? Do you have a release date? Just talk to us. Ultimately, I think that's what people want at this point, because being left in the dark is more frustrating, I think, than just the announcement of a delay. As always, if you like these videos, hit subscribe, hit the bell button, and I'll see you in the next one.